If you're watching this, you're probably concerned about the environment, human-induced climate change, the energy crisis, the risk of financial collapse, extreme weather events like flooding or drought or perhaps famine. Who's going to take care of this? Is it the government or science or commerce? Some people are not confused about these things and are working every day to make them better. One place I've seen is the Tamara community in Portugal. They're working to make a water retention landscape. Southern Portugal, like many Mediterranean biomes, has a fairly fragile hydrological cycle. And the trend for many years has been for the land to become drier and drier. The Tamara community wondered whether this was a natural situation and if there was something that could be done that would heal the land. Noch 2007 hatten wir in der Gemeinschaft Tamara die Frage, ob man in einem von der Verwüstung bedrohten Land eine Gemeinschaft von 300 Menschen versorgen kann mit Lebensmittel, mit Energie und mit Wasser. Und wir haben Sepp Holzer besucht und ihm diese Frage gestellt. Und er hat uns dieses Geschenk gebracht, die Vision der Wasserlandschaft und uns gezeigt, was möglich ist, wenn wir Retentionsseen aufbauen. Und in dieses, er hat uns in dieses Paradiesesbild verführt. Over the last six years, the community has actively pursued the goal of creating a water retention landscape. Guided by Sepp Holzer's concept, the people of Tamara are working to restore the entire watershed and sharing their knowledge and experience with others. Wasser is for me the greatest capital. Wasser soll man, wo man nur die Möglichkeit hat, Retentionsräume schaffen, das Niederschlagswasser sammeln, also mit dem Wasser wieder lernen zu haushalten. Das ist das Allerwichtigste, denn wenn das der richtige Wasserhaushalt äh, geschaffen ist, dann ist aus meiner Sicht 70 Prozent der Arbeit getan, weil ich eben eine entsprechend üppige Vegetation, eine Vielfalt habe, weil sich die Natur richtig äh, zeigen, entwickeln kann. Also das ist in allen Bereichen, egal wo auf der Welt, äh, notwendig. The results of their vision and hard work is now apparent. As the water has begun to accumulate, the land is being healed. There is an increase in vegetation. There are more wild animals returning, and the soil is increasingly more abundant. And there are no longer any questions about whether the land can produce food. The community is participating in all aspects of the work, and although they are working hard, they are also having a very good time. The healing at Tamara is not just the land. The people are working hard to have a respectful, resilient, and healthy community. Mismanagement caused by human beings can co be corrected by human beings. And my dream is that people wake up and dare to see this and dare to, uh, to change their future, take their future in their hand. This dream is being shared by people all over the world. 
in last 30 years, my Indian uh, Rajasthani community rejuvenated the seven rivers. As an eco community, Tamara is not just working on water retention. They've designed and are using natural waste systems. They're constructing and employing renewable energy systems, including biogas or methane digestion of organic materials and solar electricity. And they're building well-designed, eco-friendly buildings. Tamara is also concerned about broader issues like peace. Ada Shipley works with the Middle East Peace Research Village. I mean, when you walk in the Middle East, everybody's saying the next war is about water. Simple, decentralized models can be a simple, can be a, a solution for our conflict and other conflicts in the world because it's all about living. I was looking for alternative for my life and for the life of my daughter. <laughs> Look here and when you walk and you see eatable uh, landscape, you walk and you eat, you, you have all what you need. You have your clean water, you have enough food, you have education, you have all what you need for life. Why to fight then? When I look into uh, to this landscape, I would definitely, definitely say it's not meant to be decreasing, it's not meant to be exploited. In the contact with human beings, the land should become richer and richer. The more contact there is from human beings to the land, the more it should uh, show up, the more richer it should become, the more variety uh, should be there, the more stable the ecosystem should become, the healthier the waters should become. The work of the people in Tamera is meaningful and productive, but it's much more than just serving themselves. They're mitigating and adapting to climate change. They're ensuring that their landscape is much more resilient. They're protecting biodiversity and ensuring food security. They're experimenting with renewable energy and social systems and economic systems that are sustainable. These are going to serve their children and future generations. The sun shines for everyone.